Hi, I'm Claire Costello for www.fashiontechnology.co.uk Quite often the world of fashion is quite ruthless, very money orientated and not very inclusive. If you don't fit into their stereotype of the average consumer, you can find it to be very inaccessible. There is a lot of talk about the future of fashion and what fashion technology, wearable technology can bring is more personalised products and a more personalised service. So fashion does make attempts to be try and be more inclusive, and more accessible by doing things such as ASOS recently has designed a jumper which will fit people in a wheelchair and is waterproof so they can wear it to a festival. The other thing that they might do is to make shops more accessible. So again, usually people with a wheelchair can get around a shop with wide aisles and ramps at the doors. This seems to be about as far as their thinking goes and as much effort as the fashion world seems to make to make things accessible. They don't really seem to be thinking beyond this. The reason is, the moment they design a product that is personalised or tailor-made to a user's needs, costs go up dramatically and their customer base is reduced. In fashion, it's all about mass production, which keeps costs low, stack them high and sell them cheap. Traditionally, fashion has always worked on the idea of creating these aspirational lifestyles and these aspirational looks that the models in their advertising campaigns have often which are completely unachievable and I think the fear is is that if they feature anybody in a campaign that maybe has a slight impairment they have this massive fear that maybe they'll lose customers so when in fashion people with impairments are seen it's maybe on the catwalk or in an advertising campaign to make quite a big statement and it's also usually quite gimmicky. So can the world of fashion become more accessible? Does it have the potential to? Well as I said before fashion is all about making money so if the companies think they can make money, they will make changes. I think the first changes will come about online. First of all, the online shopping experience will become more accessible. It will be kick-started by one of their competitors, say, having a more accessible website, so therefore getting more customers and more sales. When this starts, I think it will start the ball rolling. That people with visual, hearing, cognitive and motor impairments will have their needs met so they can comfortably shop online. So for the first time fashion will maybe have to recognise that not all their customers are average. Offering a more personalised shopping experience online could potentially open up other opportunities such as a customer, when logged in, could view models that actually represent them, that actually represent their impairment. One idea for the future is that we'll be able to scan our own bodies and a 3D digital model of our body should be able to appear on a screen. In fashion, this can be applied, so rather than the fashion companies have to go to the expense of employing many different models with different impairments to personalise the shopping experience. Instead, you could be able to see yourself and the clothes could just be digitally placed on your body and you could take part in catwalk shows to show off how the clothes will look before you buy them. Other ideas are that with technologies such as artificial intelligence, that shopping for clothes may not even be a visual thing, that you may not even need to see how clothes 
look before you buy them. So the idea would be that you have a virtual stylist who handpicks a wardrobe for you based on things like your complexion, your hair colour, eye colour, clothes that you usually wear, activities that you take part in and comes up with a style look for you based upon this. However, what this does take out of it is the fun that people do simply enjoy shopping and some people do just love scouring through hordes of clothes to pick out what they want to wear for a Friday night. So the technology is there to make the shopping experience more accessible now and in the future. Fashion websites could easily become more accessible with technology that's about now, ensuring that they can be read by screen readers and are designed to be usable, easy for everybody to use with big buttons, easy ways to check out without complicated forms and without complicated payment methods. I've given examples about how in the future augmented reality, artificial intelligence will make it possible to have a more personalised shopping experience. The biggest problem that is going to face fashion becoming more accessible is the manufacturing process, the making of the actual clothes that are on sale. With very often clothes being made in developing countries in quite archaic, dangerous conditions for their workers and very often the workers are still exploited to keep costs down. So the minute you start talking about personalisation it takes away that ability to mass produce clothes in such conditions by people that are maybe not skilled in these areas. The minute you have skilled workers you have to start paying people a livable wage. And very often it's still the consumer spending power which makes the difference. People just want cheap clothes. People want to be able to easily buy a new outfit for a night out without having to spend a lot of money. If there was that need and want for personalised clothing, maybe, and people were willing to pay more, maybe it would already be out there and available, but it doesn't seem to be. The only hope for the future really is with technologies such as 3D print that make it easier to print personalised garments. However, to do this is still slow and it's still costly. So it's not a technology which has been adapted in the mass production high street fashion market. I think we still have a long way to go before a truly accessible fashion world, fashion culture is created. To learn more about accessibility and fashion technology, see the rest of my blog www.fashiontechnology.co.uk link is below. I'm Colette Costello.